Hello and welcome to the course on Cloudera Altest Director. In this video, we will see how to install or deploy a Cloudera Altest Director in a virtual machine. So in previous videos, uh, we have seen how to deploy a virtual machine for that. And now we connected that virtual machine using PuTTY. Then uh, and we use CentOS to log in. So we need either sudo access or uh, we can just switch to root user to do the administration task like installation and configuration so for that i'm just switching to root user using sudo su so first thing i need to do here is so as a prerequisite i need a uh, java so i can use either uh, oracle jdk or open jdk so this time i'm using open jdk so use m-y install java iPhone 1.8.0 iPhone open JDK okay so this will try to install uh, Java 1.8 open JDK so this will be checking our repositories which is configured here and uh, it will install the packages and dependent packages so you can see that not only one packages uh, along with that there are a lot of dependent packages are getting installed so what I need is I need uh, to download this repo file so this is from archive.cloudera.com then director 6 6.2 for red at 7 and cloudera director dot repo and uh, now we got this file so actually we just need to move this file to etc m.repo.t so let me just move this file to etc m.repos.t so here under this directory so there will be a lot of dot repo file so these are the m repo configuration file and that will tell the location where these packages are located so once uh, that is done so we will go ahead and install uh, this director so let's use m install cloudera director server cloudera director hyphen server cloudera director hyphen client so these two packages you need to I download and install so cloudera director client and server and this is the plugin is the dependent uh, package so these two are from uh, this cloudera altus director repository so you can see this is uh, downloading and installing so once that is done we will go ahead and start the service using uh, service command so service Cloudera director server start okay and uh, we can just check the status also this is up and running so basically uh, we can just use a system ctl command to check system ctl status so instead of service we can use system ctl right so we can see the cloudera director is up and running another another thing you need to make sure like the firewall service is stopped so uh, you can just use the system ctl disable firewall d so in my case i don't have firewall service so you need to disable and then uh, we need to stop the firewall service so that ensures like uh, that port is able to access from outside so in my case i don't have a firewall d service enabled or installed in my system so now uh, once we have completed uh, the installation so take the public ip address and uh, use HTTP that address and uh, 7189 
so that is the port where cloudera director is running so you can see that go ahead and accept the license and then continue so by default the username like cloudera manager it's admin admin okay so that's it uh, we have completed uh, the installation of cloudera altis director so that's it about this demo so we will uh, see uh, the deployment and other uh, details in the upcoming videos thank you for watching see you in the next video bye